something pops and now you get something going, I'm not so sure to just abandon your game plan this early in the second half. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. This is brought in at the 21. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Panthers will get it here as they take possession. A look at the offense now here coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Carolina. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Panthers add on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my, he pulled it in. Well, they have the yards anyway, so they're going to decline the penalty. So here we go, first and ten now. On the run, this is Michael. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. They tried to run it to the short side of the field. There just wasn't a whole lot of room to work with. Yeah, it seems like things just kept getting strung out towards the sideline, and he kept looking for a spot to dive up into the gap. There just wasn't one, so that turned into nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And no gain. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. Out of the gun now on third down. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sideline. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Kobe Flaner, his second touchdown on the season. And the Saints move back within a couple of the leads. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fall. Looking for Snead, and it's intercepted. And some room to work. And he'll be stopped shy of the 15 at the 14-yard line on the return. The ball upright on the tee, and the Saints kick team booms it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play-action pass could very well be open. 
So while the offense has had a big day, no one on that side of the ball is excited about seeing a loss like that. Their goal, to make every play positive. And when you have a bad one like that, your next goal is to not let spiral in the more. Prescott now on second down. And the tight end Olsen right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A big play that time on the catch and run. 39 yards. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. First down, Prescott. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 18 on that one. And the Panthers are going to get a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Partner, I think there's a lesson there. Some days you're just having a really tough time, and for the defense, today has been that day. But after that play, what do you learn? You can still make plays, even when the other guy's having success against you. They go to Elliott again. And he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Nine good yards there on the run, and now third down. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game plan. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Now here's the Panthers' special teams unit to try a field goal for three. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will push the lead up to five. So it's a seven-play drive, but it stalls out in the end. Let's credit the defensive front seven. They were a little leaky at the start of the drive, but they stiffened toward the end. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't scoreboard watch. Everyone does it to some extent. But you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. Michael trying to turn the corner, but they string him out and stop him at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They're down here in the third quarter trying to get something going. Going to the outside there didn't work out, though. Yeah, and from the cheap seats and from where you and I are sitting, <laughs> we, did, we did pay a pretty good price to get in here, right? You often wonder to yourself, why do you make that type of a call? That one went for no gain. But I think this offense thinks to itself, if we keep running these plays, eventually something may pop. It just didn't on that one. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Looking to throw. Wilson snags it, left side. That catch good for five. It's third down. Completed pass on second down. Now it's third down as the defense looks for the stop. Let's go! Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And he is going to be taken down. And that should be the final play of this third quarter. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. 
He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Fielded just inside the 20. Sweep with Alia. <laughs> and he'll be brought down here at the 28. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Let's go! One, seven. A first down throw for Prescott. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 19 yards that time for number 19. now out of the gun and he's going to be met at about the 43 it's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down not a run that you're going to write home about but still a good first down run that's what an offense calls staying on schedule three to four yards on first down you're set up very well for the rest of the drive yardage here back at the 47 he lost four there and it's third down and in this situation with the lead fourth quarter they're liking keeping the ball on the ground i'm sure that's just smart football but you know the defense has to know it as well they've got to stop them here so now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way six seven eight nine whatever it's going to take puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line and he is out of bounds inside the 30. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. They'll run with Elliott. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Sheldon Rankins continuing to fight downfield. The big tackle gets him for a loss of 11. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Third and long for Prescott. Wide open receiver complete. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short, and it's fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. He hit his first, this one from 38. And his kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to eight. So, Charles, I think from a defensive perspective, you have to look at that field goal there and consider it a win. You were able to keep them within a touchdown, so no question about it. That was the kind of stand that keeps you in ball games. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach said, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what you happened. You think that factor did? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Time starting to run out here in the fourth. This defense just trying to keep the offense off the board and preserve this potential victory. They'll drop the throw. 
His throw incomplete. 